The man who cheated on his sick wife. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, or information. I just share with you my viewpoints on different topics. And I wanted to share with you this one. I was out doing my five-mile run here on the beach today, and um, I don't know. I, you know, I come up with all kinds of wisdom topics that I talk about. And I shared this story once before, many, many, many years ago. I was in my early 20s, and I was living in the Palm Springs area, and there was a man whose wife had uh, she was she had a, a, a terminal illness and she was very sick and this man was a great guy he was not one of these regular cheater guys that run around or anything like that or cheater women you know because there's cheater women and cheater guys he was a really nice guy but I noticed that he was kind of putting subtle suggestions about us going out together and I completely stopped that right up front and very politely but I you know there was nothing going to be in any way between us and I knew his wife was sick and I knew his wife and she was a wonderful woman and absolutely I turned the other way so about a year later I ran into him and his wife was really in bad shape at that particular point and he told me that he was I, I just happened to bring briefly talked to him and he said he was going with um, a stripper of all people. He was dating her and he was in love with her, but she was cheating him wrong. And I said to him, I said, how can you do this? Your wife is critically sick. How can you do this? And he didn't say anything to me. And then I just kind of walked away because to me, he was a good guy who for some crazy reason, I understand when people get sick, it, it, it it's an emotional upset and it scares people and people react differently, but you don't cheat on your spouse who is very, very sick. She was in a vulnerable position and, you know, and he did that. And, um, and so, you know, I got to thinking about the man who cheated on his sick wife and how sad that was. Remember, maintain your integrity. When someone's vulnerable, don't take advantage of their vulnerability. You comfort them, you be there for them, and show your own code of ethics during that time, your own integrity. Keep your integrity clean and keep your integrity good, okay? I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned at the top of the comment section below. If you connect with me with all five, I will likely connect back with you. May God bless you, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.